everybody and welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green. Last time we went through the uh, woods and now we're going to head into the next major city. Um, Pokemon in this grass will be pretty similar Pokemon you find. Um, yeah, I believe a lot of Rattas, a lot of Pidgeys. So, um, if you need any um, grinding for a level for what we're about ready to do, um, you can use that patch of grass there. So let's go heal our Pokemon, and we'll check out the the city a little bit. Yes, we want to heal our Pokemon. Christ, woman. All right, so let's see what we got going on in here in the Pokemon Center. It's because there's a lot of people. There, look! Jigglypuff! Man, I knew the I knew the cartoon series was dumb when Jigglypuff wasn't a, uh, a continued character anymore. It, like, there was something about seeing Jigglypuff every, every episode that just made my life. Yeah, when Jigglypuff sings, you will go to sleep and then she will draw on your face. Or he, if you wanted. Team Rocket's at Mount Moon. Okay, so there's a hint hint for what we're gonna look at. Guy's trading his Clefairy for a Pikachu, which is a really good trade. How did you get two Pikachus? I believe, I haven't looked it up in this one, but I believe uh, Rare Catch in the woods can be a Pikachu. I've done it many times. This is what I was kind of hoping I'd run into as I was speed running it. No! I don't want to tell you anything about me. That's creepy. Anyways. Moving on. Let's see if I need to buy anything. Bye. How many potions do I have? Two? Yeah, let's buy a couple more. I can only buy three. Oh, let's go ahead and buy them. Yep. Money's kind of short in this one. Usually I have no problem with Dollars even at, at the beginning. Oh, this guy looks like maybe he'll be the giving type. Let's see if he's got anything to give. He's talking about the museum, which is up this way. Oh, there's a house here. <gasps> Needle Ram Mail! I love Needle Ram Mails. They're so cute! The good thing about poison type Pokemon, I, when I was a kid I didn't appreciate them, but as I got older, I actually appreciate poison types a little bit more. I think they could be potentially uh, pretty great, uh, but you know. I like I like Nito uh Nito Keen. Um he's uh he's pretty boss, honestly. This guy will ask you to pay fifty for a child's ticket uh to come in here. For now we're gonna say no. But this is the museum. You come in here, check out fossils, this will be important much, much later. I think that's about all to see here, except for the gym of course, which we'll be going in next. remember correctly, and I know I sound like a noob, I think fighting is decent against rock type, so we're gonna ready to find out. I know grass is, which, the only reason why I remember that is because that makes absolutely no goddamn sense to me. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to the gym. We are going to have our first gym battle here. This guy will give you tips. Do you dare to dream of becoming a Pokemon champ? I'm no trainer, but I can advise you on how to win. Let me take you to the top. Sure. Alright. Let's get happening. The first Pokemon out in a match is at the left of the Pokemon list. But, oh, what the hell are you telling me? Normally you guys tell me about... Okay, you were completely useless. So uh, we have one battle before... I didn't know you can walk on this. So you can skip that guy altogether. Interesting. Uh, we're gonna not going to skip him. We're going to actually fight him. Stop right there, kid. Who are you calling kid, kid? Yeah. 
So before we can face the amazing and quite the Lady Charmer Brock, we're going to face this camper. He's gonna send out a Geodude. This is his first Pokemon. And let's find out if I remember correctly. I did remember correctly. Nice. I like the fact that fighting type can beat rocks because, you know, I think about karate and, you know, the breaking of the submit uh, stone block, so. That's how I try to remember what, what, uh, I try to use common sense to remember what's effective against what. Sometimes common sense helps, sometimes it does not. So Mankey gets leveled up there. Which is nice. I'm, I'm kind of OCD about my Pokemon. I like to try to keep them at even levels. But we'll see what happens. Sandshrew. Um, my sure if Sandshrew is a ground poison type right now. I know. Well, let's find out. I can't remember. Um, he is... I'm not sure if Low Kick will actually affect him. Let's find out. Yeah, it doesn't affect as much as uh as it is because he's not because he's not rock, he's ground type, which there surprisingly is a difference. But as long as I heal heal Mankey on this next turn, I think Mankey can take him out. Now it looks like Low Kick actually did more uh, defensive curl. Such a cheap move. I could use Leer, but by this point. Yeah, let's heal him with this next one. We'll use a potion. Ah, my accuracy. I really hate Sand Attack, too. But, you know, Sand Attack has saved me a couple times. So. That's why. You don't want to ever, uh... Waste a move because you missed. There we go. So Mankey was able to take on this entire battle on his own, which is nice. Alright, so we're gonna slowly head back to the Pokemon Center and heal. And we're gonna go ahead and take on Brock. Normally I would um, grind at least to level 12 because I believe his highest is gonna be a 12 or a 14. I can't remember which one. Between 12 or 14. But um, with a um, fighting type Pokemon, uh, with a with a Pokemon that has a fighting type move and my grass type Pokemon, I think we'll be just fine. Usually, Brock, no matter how you go, is pretty easy to beat. I I suppose if you grab Charmander, you have a little bit more of a a, a battle, but honestly, uh, I don't appreciate rock Pokemon ground types. I don't, and I probably never will, to be honest. So you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Pure Gym's leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. That's what she said. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit, determination. That's what she said. That's right. My Pokemon are all the rock type. That's what she said. Fohaha, ha, ha. you're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose. That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then. Show me your best. All right. So, let's take on Brock. And he of course is that Geodude. I could have sworn he had like two Geodudes. But, okay. So, yeah, if his Geodude is level 12, I believe his next one, which will unsurprisingly be Onyx, um, which can be a little bit of a beast because of defense. Um, wow, that was critical. That's nice. Um, will be level 14. We'll low kick it again. And there we go. That's, that's all he wrote for Geodude. Mankey hit level 11. We'll go ahead and sit out Bulbasaur to get some, uh... Ooh, Karate Shop. Mankey could really F up Onyx by this point. 
But yeah, we'll, we'll send out Bulbasaur. Oh no, we won't. Bulbasaur's level 12 because Sora's level 11. We'll keep Mankey out. It's karate chop. Let's all be honest, Onyx could just sit on my monkey and crush him to death. Realistically, that Pokemon is huge. That's what she said. Anyways. It's looking like an easy trainer battle. Yep. Nothing like ending a really big Pokemon with a really small po uh, monkey. And Mankey grew to level 12. And there you go. Brock is defeated. Took you for granted, and so I lost. Yes, you did. As proof of your victory, I can confer on <laughs> you this, the official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. Bella received the Boulder Badge from Brock. As having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful, enables you to use the move Flash. It's an HM. Of course, the Pokemon must know the move Flash to use it. And got a whole ton of Poke Dollars. And I got a TM from him. Uh, the TM is good for only one use. Anyways, contains Rock Tome. It hurls Boros at the foe. He would have used Rock Tome, but, like, he didn't, I don't think. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, um, we're already done with, uh, Pewter City. Huh. Well. There's one thing I want to do before I wrap up this video. This really, really ridiculously short trainer battle. healed. Yay. Okay. So, I've been saying about how slow this is going, right? It's just ridiculous. Oh, look! There's one of his aides! I'm glad I caught up to you. I'm Professor Goke's aide. I've been asked to deliver this, so here you go. I got running shoes. Finally! Finally! So now I can go a little bit faster. And by a little bit... Uh, I'm your beloved child. Oh, okay, for mom. Yeah, there's walking. That's what walking looks like. This is what running looks like. Anyways. We are going to end this one here. Uh, we defeated Brock, and in the next video, we are going to travel on our way to Mount Moon. And Mount Moon will get us to the next city, and to the next gym battle. Until next time. <laughs>